All right, before I start the showcase, this, um, this showcase was requested by Twisted, not Twisted, Skull Kid. And this is the Five Nights of Freddy's Twisted Run showcase. And for the showcase, we have Twisted Foxy, Twisted Bonnie, Twisted Freddy, Twisted Wolf, and a non-canon Twisted Chica. So without further ado, let's get into it. One more thing before we start the showcase. These were made back in 2017 or 18. So, if I don't remember much about them, that's because it's been like three to four years ago I made these. I just haven't showcased them again since my channel got deleted the first time. Because the whole Coppa Scare incident, I'm still mad about that. I know it's been a year, I need to get you know, let it go, but yeah, let's get into the showcase. Alright, starting off with the showcase, I have extended the wolf's legs. I sculpted on, um, I sculpted on the animatronic parts. I added some more cuts in there to give it a more in animatronic texture and i sculpted this one and sanded it down a bit so it looks more like an average wolf and on this side i painted on the glitch it was really hard to make this believe it or not because like i didn't know how to make the glitch textures because they're all pixely so what i did was i just added random cuts in there and with the animatronic part of the torso what i did was use an exacto knife and just cut some parts out for the right arm, on the other hand, that's a totally different story. I just sculpted all these spikes, honestly. That was not fun. Then one of them might have fallen off, but yeah, after that, I glued all of these on, honestly, because I was using green stuff at the time. Sorry if I sound like I'm talking too much, I'm too fast. For the head, I sculpted a ball on the head. I cut off the stud, then sculpted the ball on the head. You know, I'm um, sculpted the ears, which one is disproportionate from the other. I'm sorry. Sculpted the snout, the um, lower jaw. Painted everything light gray, dark gray, gunmetal gray, and silver. I'm going to give you a quick side view. Here's what he looks from the left side. Here's the way he looks like from the back. I went all out with this, believe it or not. I know there's a few fingerprints here and there, but I can't really control that in terms of the super glue. But I did sculpt on the um, fur on the back of him. And the fur on the, su on the side of his arm. And I did give him light gray fingernails. Playing the paint of the blue in the eyes and the glitch texture. And yeah, let's move on to the next custom. Alright, next off we have Twisted Bonnie. The first ones I made, but still came out pretty good for the time, honestly. The torso looks rushed, I know. Um, other than that, the head was completely sculpted. I did this in three or four separate parts. I did the ears last, the snout before last, and the other two jaws. I sculpted the jaws first, like the, the main jaw first, then the outer jaws, then the, then the head and the snout. Then I sculpted the ears. That might have been five. I painted this. I used some blue Lego parts and painted some parts blue. Painted on the whiskers, which I might need to do that with more bonnies. Or sculpt them. Painted on his little shoulder spikes. And not painted. Sculpted them on. Here's what he looks like from the side. These are old customs. Please keep that in mind. I did paint on some boils too. But this does look a very lo a lot like the character. I just need to make the purple version. I sculpted it on his feet, not feet, jeez, I'm sorry. I sculpted it on his legs, then like the toes. Then I painted on some black cuts. Sorry, it's been a while since I talked a lot. So yeah, I really don't talk much. So sorry about that too. Painted the pink in the gums, black in the mouth, white in the teeth, white for the teeth. And painted like, and I sculpted the bunny teeth too. Bunny tooth too. Yeah, let's move on to the next minifigure. Oh yeah, before I get into that, the colors I used was bright blue, real red, bonnet blue, bright blue, that's the name of the darker blue, silver, and black. Let's move on to the next one. Technically should be doing this one last considering it's not canon, but I decided I want to do this before, like, Foxy or Freddy last because, you, know, you know, they get milked a lot the most. By characters, I mean. So for Chica, what I did was I sculpted her head. That thing was a pain in the butt to sculpt. I remember that with a passion, honestly. But not all of it, but I remember I sculpted the um, base first. Like the pelican looking head. And I sculpted her hair with the boils. And I sculpted the cupcake. And the spikes with the boils on the sides. 
Gave her, her chicken arms and chicken feet that are more, you know, like animal like. So, what I did was I sculpted on with Procreator Green stuff. I indented the, the um, what's it called? Indentations in them. Sculpted on the toes, painted on the toes, sculpted on the knee pad, and you did the same thing with the arms as I did for the legs. Send down the legs a little bit so it has some articulation. I don't know if it does. Paint on the bib and it says let's eat. Sculpt it on the cupcake. The yellow eyes and stuff. Let me move this to the side so you can see every cupcake. I know this doesn't look the best but it's supposed to look twisted. So that's my excuse why it doesn't look too too good. But yeah this was from a long time ago. I feel I, I might repaint this because how dirty these got. Except for Twisted Wolf. Twisted Wolf still holds up to this day. But yeah, on the back, it's just plain, plain yellow. On the side, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I did paint her her fingernails in black instead of silver because I got found that fit the chicken aesthetic more. But yeah, let's move on to Twisted Freddy. Alright, for Twisted Freddy here, he's not my favorite. Same with Foxy. That's why I said like I don't like him as much because like these kind of were rushed. He, it's him especially. He's my very old... 2015 or 2016 Nightmare Freddy or 20 yeah 2015 or 2016 Nightmare Freddy it was made when the game was like first came out and my sculpting skills weren't that good I do have I did make another Nightmare Freddy he's still in work in progress and getting remade as we speak well not really getting remade he's just getting updated but yeah let's get on to the showcase not showcase but the minifigure as you can see here, I sculpted on his torso. I painted in dark brown. I sculpted on the legs, then the boils. I based it off fan art. I didn't realize he had like actual feet, not in those skeleton feet. Painted on the boils, sculpted and painted on the boils in green. His arms are sculpted out so I can fit the boils on without you know anything falling off. His both eyes sculpted pretty largely too. His eyes are painted in blue, cool blue with the black dots his top hats his top hat i know it looks pretty bad but like it's what i had at the time this is my old nightmare freddy keep that in mind but it does it does look a lot like twisted freddy so i can't really complain that much on the back it's just the plain colors i did paint it on his stomach mouth and i did paint on this endoskeleton feet in gunmetal gray with black now let's get into the colors i used I used gunmetal gray, dark brown, territorial beige, or light brown. One of those. So I've aired with a folk art version, so I really don't know what it's called. I think one's chocolate, but I'm not entirely sure. That's the name of the paint. And yeah, I painted the boils on with gloss green. I don't know which kind it was, but one of the gloss greens. I think it was like gloss marsh green or something like that. I don't remember, but yeah. The teeth are outlined in pink. The gums are outlined in pink. With black outlines and white fur teeth. So yeah, that's it for Twisted Freddy. Let's move on to Twisted Foxy. Okay, before you say, say anything about the base. The base has cold stains on it. I have no clue why it got on those. I probably need to glaze this or something like that in order to fix it. But I also need to repaint them and stuff. And give them the more glossy, you know, nasty animatronic barnacle look. Which, he, which he's supposed to have. It's on the side here, nothing, no detail on it, gunmetal hand. The base I spent the most time in, in the upper head, I spent the most time and effort into. And so what I did with the base was, I, you know, this is my technique. I put a plate right here, glued the torso in. I did this with Mole and Freddy too. And I sculpted around it to give that dirt texture that you can see with cold stains. Really bad, it's really bad, I know. I don't know why it only happens to my customs, but I did paint some green in there just to, you know, sprinkle in the grass. This pirate hook was a Nauticon pirate hook. I still need to replace that arm. Hook. Then his, then his um, boils are just painted on. Well, his barnacles and his hook is just painted on. I should have sculpted it, honestly, but I didn't want to ruin a Nauticon hook. His arm is just plain and plain red. His torso has a lot more detail than it. Oh, yeah. And it just has some black right there. And same over here. His torso does have more detail because, like, in on the torso itself, it has black rips and stuff. 
But yeah, but other than that, the head is completely sculpted from scratch. Based, It was based off the um, concept art. Not concept art. The art from Lady Fitzy. I will not be linking her because presumably she, you know, did something very disgusting with FNAF characters. Presumably, I'm not saying anything. Then I painted on the black wire down here. Paint, gave it, I sculpted on his um, human-like jaw. And I used Sunkissed Peach. I'm probably going to remake this and do a separate showcase on him. Look, looking back at it, honestly, it looks really bad. Painted on the nose and sculpted it in black. Same with the eyes. I used black and red. But yeah, that's basically it. Before we get into that, I used Melted Chocolate for the base color. Then I used New Shamrock for the speckles of leaves and stuff. Gloss Red for the... You know, torso and everything else. Light mocha that I mixed with Sunkiss Peach for the snout and the torso and the inner ears, which I added some cuts into them. Not not physical ones, just painted on. So those do take, I don't want to risk cutting myself on accident. That, is, that really hurts, honestly. <laughs> like, be careful with exact knives. But yeah, let's move on to conclusion of this video. Alrighty everyone, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and yeah, bye.